What's up, my peeps? We're gonna hit up a ton of Goodwills today, starting with this one right here. We're gonna see how many things we can find, how much money we can make. Come along on the ride, subscribe and like if you like this stuff. Let's go on in. If you know me, I do not like hornets. I'm just getting in this Goodwill. Let's get that cart. Going for some good luck. Is there something? Let's go. Just walked in this Mave, whatever it's called. I don't know. I know this brand. I think it's at Anthropology, $7.99. But again, I just don't know this Anthropology brands. I might get it, I might not, we'll see. Right behind the Mavi was this Kentucky Derby Vineyard Vine Stress. You know that's gotta be something special. Here you go, some Grit 40. This is actually a subline at Duluth. I don't even know if it says on there, but I just know it's a subline at Duluth. Four ninety nine, five bucks, easy money. Cargo shorts, get my cart. You see what I see? Check those out, that is for sure Mamba. It is Kobe Bryant, $9.99, good shoes. Tread is disgusting, oh gosh. These are awful tread, but they're Kobe's. Kobe's are super popular. I'm gonna have to figure out, I do not see a code in here. So I'm gonna have to Google Lindsay's and figure out exactly how much they are worth. And then I'm just gonna throw them in the cart. So for $9, I think this is a good pickup. I'll throw them in the cart. Y'all gonna be so mad at me because I'm not picking up this Peter Millar. I used to pick these up back in the day, but look at that with that nasty collar. Even if it had a nice collar, these just don't do well for me. That's me personally, five bucks, not picking it up. Speaking of another brand I don't pick up, only unless it's certain pieces is this brand right here. So Brooks Brothers, these quarter zips really don't do much for me. The only Brooks Brothers I really look into are suits and blazers. Other than that, maybe white shirts, tuxedo shirts, but Brooks Brothers, I stay away from for the most part. See this little panda bear right here, whatever it is. I sold this in a pearl snap recently for like 50 bucks, but this one sucks because it has this right here. So that's not a good thing, but whatever. Put it back, get the pearl snap ones. Dang it, another Mave dress. Ah, $7.99. So I have two of these. I'm gonna have to figure out how much they worth. Look, she's a worker, get my heart, she's cool. Whenever I'm in the Goodwill, I love looking for a nut, and there's one right there. Found my nut. So, yeah, Mountain Hardware, only five bucks. They are women's, but they're really good size, and they're like little joggers. So, look for that little nut right there. Get yourself a nut at the Goodwill. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Right now, I am just torn because I have these Mave, Mav, don't at me. Again, I knew with women's specific clothing, obviously Mountain Hardware, I know, they make it men's and women's, but I found both of these dresses, both of them. They're $7.99 a piece. I mean, they're really cute, right? I don't know, $7.99 a piece, so they'll be like $15, $16 after my little 10% discount. Um, I could lot them together, $15. Maybe I'll just lot them together and put it for 50. Ah, I hate listing dresses. All right, I'm gonna pick them up. I'm about to check out, I'm gonna make $100 profit on all this stuff in this store. That's good. One store, $100 profit, let's go. Look at that killer still here. I'm getting out of here, getting out of here. So, all right, we got all those things. We spent $37, like I said, after the $37, after cost of fees and everything, do the math in my head, super easy. Uh, probably $100 profit just at that store. Obviously, I'm gonna have to list it, yada, yada, yada. But let's talk some drama real quick because that's what brings a lot of people to YouTube. And yeah, right, I'm not talking about drama. Let's go to the next store. Well, I'm driving by one. I might as well go into one. So Marshalls, you guys know I do some retail arbitrage. Might as well hit it, check this out. Let me go real quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's the big clearance sale. Now I know they already had that, but they still keep marking stuff down. So don't, don't pass up just because you missed one sale, they keep marking stuff down. Let's go on inside, see what we can buy. All right, y'all gonna think I'm a little bit crazy, but I am gonna pay full price for this $15 Under Armour. It is Wisconsin Badgers, and guess what? It's football season. It's actually just about to be football season, but look at that size, 3XL. I bet you I can sell this for probably $35, $40. Not a huge margin, but it's good. I'm gonna pick it up. Here's something to talk about. True Religion isn't the best, but when it has that big hit on the front and it's a good size 2XL's men's for only $10, Super good pickup. The problem is though, is that it has this tag. As soon as they take the sensor off, that tag is gonna come off and there's no other tag on it telling me that it's in new condition. No tags on it at all. So I'm just gonna have to pass on this because it will look used. 
Here's a brand I don't normally pick up because it's just watered down, but they sell this one at Nordstrom's a lot. It's a really good brand. Size small, but that's okay. People who wear this shirt, they usually like that tight fit. And it's a Theory shirt, Theory polo, Breon. The comps are really good. $15 on the super duper clearance. So I'm gonna pick this one up. I'm gonna get both of these. I'm looking at $50 per day. So $50 plus $100, and we're only an hour and a half into the day. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna be honest. This Goodwill right here has sucked the last few days. But that happens with thrifting. Sometimes they suck and then one day can end it all. I could go in there and get $500 worth of stuff. Fingers crossed, let's hope I get something. One thing I'll be happy with. I got zero things the last two days. All right, so what happened was I went into that Goodwill that I got nothing at the last few days and there was a really good thrifter in there. Super nice guy, I see him often. The sun's about to blind me. Ow! I'm not a vampire. So that's proof. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so he's really good. I went in there, saw him with a cart full of stuff, left. I'm off to the next one. Obviously, if that was the only Goodwill in my area, I'd still hit it up, but I have a ton of them and other thrift stores that I plan on hitting today. So let's go. Oh yeah, pit stop, baby. Look, look at that deal. Buy two, get one free. What's up? I'm about to bring the drama. Again, YouTube loves drama. I just say drama, 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 and all the algos will kick to me and everything else. No, I'm just kidding. So the drama is this sign used to be something about if you have the S word, something. Watch an old video. It was really funny. I loved it. But we're about to go into this Goodwill, find some good stuff, make some money. We already made $150 today, but we're going to find some good stuff. I am going to go live in here. So I'm going to go in, go live, say hi to everybody, come out and show you what I have. Let's go. All right. So I'm out of the thrift store, obviously sitting in the truck of my car. It's such a beautiful day. So why not? It's been super hot lately, but it's cooled down. Um, you saw that big old hornet earlier today. I've been seeing bees everywhere, not liking it. So let me show you what I got at the last store. I actually got a shirt for a buddy, so I'm not going to show you that. But here's a brand to keep on the lookout for if you haven't seen it yet it's called salt valley so salt valley is a good brand they usually always pearl snap i have i don't find them very often but i've been buying this brand since since i've actually started so since probably 2016 2016 something like that i've been buying i don't find them very often i found some buckle black jeans they're just like bke um they are bke obviously they're buckle jeans but they're just like these uh bke right here right here is right here is but yeah these were $7.99 a piece and I always get around $30 plus ship on those so that's 40 bucks just with those two things this is a cool thing not k-u-h-l like cool but cool I saw this flannel and I knew right away from the button I'll show you in the sun from the button that it is a lululemon so I knew right away and then the next thing I did I put my finger in the pocket and it didn't go down which means it's got a zip pocket so it's got a zip pocket sorry for the view and so i looked on the back and somewhere on the back right here was your lululemon symbol so it tried to trick me this flannel tried to trick me it did not pass the trick test got a couple other things so don't go away uh actually this is awesome i was freaking pumped i thought i'd find some jinkos with them but look what i found lee pipes jeans so lee pipes it's like this is what i wore when i was little um my parents were teachers, so they didn't get me Jinkos. I got the Lee Pipes, the off-brand. These are like pennies, but um, Lee Pipe jeans, and those are kids, but they still will sell. So Lee Pipe skater, Y2K, again, 90s, that stuff sells. And it's got that regular old Under Armour pants, you know, with that green. Super good look for the uh, for the fall coming up, and that's what I got. All right, so we're at the next Goodwill. Already going in. It's about noon. I don't have many left in me because I need to get home and list. So I need to get home and list. Like I just said earlier, the temperature is starting to change. Start listing those flannels and jeans and everything. So we're going to go in here and see what we can and find. And just like that, let's buckle jeans again. Black. Same thing. One's black and one's BKE, just regular. So $79 a piece and the bottoms aren't frayed. Snag them both those. Again, $20 for those. And they just rolled out a new cart. So we're going to see what they have. Please, someone tell me, why did they make these things? These jeans that aren't jeans. Look at that, I'm already peeling them off. Why did they make these? Cart back there had nothing. That one right there. But I do have those two BKE jeans. Again, those are gonna be $20 each profit. So I think the last store was a minimum $100 with the Lululemon, the BKE, all everything. So that's 200 with the first store, 100, then another 50, then Another hundred, so that's two. We're close to three hundred dollars profit on the day so far, and that's not even retail arbitrage. We're out of that goodwill. Two pairs of jeans, but it's cool. Actually, I had 
Best part of that Goodwill is I had a good conversation with the manager. You guys know I, I was ducking for her, but she's real cool. We are talking about like buying stuff. This Goodwill is super affordable. And also I was telling her I was cheating on them because I was going to the Burlington and the Marshalls and Ross that are right down the street and getting tons of stuff. She's like, me too. I'm getting so much stuff down there. Cheaper than here. I'm like, I know. I said, but I'm not going to cheat on you. Goodwill, I'm not going to cheat on you. I'm going to still come to you. But there's deals to be had other places. Just saying. Drama. Look, I'm getting ready to go into a family store. But look at this weather. That's why I like being my own boss. I'm going to go into this family store right now. Hopefully find some things. If I don't, no big deal. Again, we're at $300 so profit for the day. I still have to list stuff, obviously. But it's been a great day. And being my own boss, I get to come out and enjoy this weather if I want to after this store. Go home. Go for a walk. Do whatever I want. I'm glad I'm not doing my 9 to 5. My 9 to 5, I'd be inside those windows. I'd be looking outside. Not those windows, but school windows. Looking outside, wishing I could be out there playing and frolicking in the sun and the nice weather. So long story. Anyways, let's go in here, see what we can find. I'll take you along for the ride. This is the last thrift store of the day. This place right here used to be the best thrift store in the city. There used to be racks, rack, 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 rack. This whole thing. Oh, they even took more out now. That's sad. I don't know what to even think about it. This was full of racks. This whole area, rack, 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 rack. All these were racks. Then they'd have new carts here, new carts there. That little hole over there were all racks. It's just unbelievable how the Salvation Army has gone to complete trash. Complete trash. I don't know what the deal is. They have a few new racks out. They've got a gentleman over there looking fly. See him? But yeah, I don't know what's going on. So Salvation Army's hurting. Goodwill obviously isn't. I don't know the comparison. Maybe you can tell me in the comments what uh, who gets paid and whatnot. Um, but they get some hard goods here and all that. You can see it back there. Um, but I'll look at the clothing. Look a little bit at this hard goods. Look at all these old books. If you're into old books, Webster Dictionary, um, you know, you might, might find something here. I've sold some first editions before, but all this stuff's probably not real great. There's a mannequin head. You could probably do some hats on that and list them online, but I'm not going for it. So just hard goods, but this place, it's just sad. Uh, this place used to just be packed. Racks, racks. This was my favorite place. They would have all new racks here. And these were all be like women's new racks here. I'd come in and just look through tons of new racks. Now they barely have anything. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, what happened to Salvation Army? What's going on with Goodwill? We'll see. So as you can imagine, I didn't find anything in this store. Look behind me. It's just completely empty. I don't know what's going on. The shoes aren't even good. There are no jackets. There's nothing. So I don't know. Goodwill's getting everything. Our Salvation Armies in Indy are just going. <clears throat> so the, again, this used to be my favorite. Everything was 2 or $3. New racks all the time. Ever since the pandemic, it's just gone downhill. But there's your drama for the day there, YouTube. But appreciate you guys searching with me again. Hope you guys found some new brands to use, some bolos. And it was fun. I love doing this. I love taking people along for the ride and educating people because I don't get to do that anymore, obviously, since I'm not a teacher. So this is my way. Again, I appreciate it. If you uh, give a like and subscribe, I'll see you in the next one. Surf up.